talking about the Big Lebowski. And it, it is funny, as an adult, nothing has really changed from when I was a kid and I watched movies, and I don't know if anybody else is like this, but uh, I grew up in the golden age of kids' adventure films in the uh, 80s and 90s. Um, there was, I don't know if you would really call it terrific, but there was a prevalence of movies starring kids getting into all sorts of just dangerous adventures. And indeed, I, I learned a lot of really dangerous things from the movies, things that I did repeat uh, in real life. Um, and uh, every time, you know, Congress has one of these uh, hearings where they uh, bring video game or Hollywood executives or something. I don't know if they've had one of these in a while, but they bring them to these hearings. They put them down in front of these really tall, skinny Bob Barker microphones, and they give them like all this water to drink <laughs> when they're like thinking. Uh, and they, they say like, do you realize that the product that you put out, the filth that you put out is damaging the youth of America? And uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of on the side of the senators and the congressmen. You know, you know they, they really do put out some stuff that negatively, I mean, I could have died many, many times when I was a kid because I was trying to reproduce some of the actions and in some cases, some of the violence that uh, the kids in the, uh, in the films were doing. Yes, no, I did that, definitely. So it's like there was a, a movie called The Goonies about these kids who like root around in the sewers and things like that. <laughs> and uh, it had me honestly thinking when I was, I don't know, four or five years old when that movie came out and I saw it. They used to show it all the time in school, you know, typically toward the end of the year when the teachers were tired of thinking and teaching. And I would think like, hey, if I go into the... Uh, the caves behind my house, which were really mines, you know, because I'm in Alabama and there's mines everywhere. Uh, I'm going to find a sunken pirate ship and I'm going to loot it for gold and, and rich stuff, you know. <laughs> it's like the Goonies taught you to explore places um, in your own backyard. And I went back there to try and find sunken pirate ships. I didn't find any rich stuff, but I definitely found poison ivy. <laughs> you know, and uh, of course the Ninja Turtles were really big. You know the Ninja Turtles. They live in the sewers. So like every time I walked by a storm drain... I would like get down on my hands and knees and like crawl and stick my head in there. Trying to like uh, smell the sweet stench of pizza because the Ninja Turtles love pizza and I knew they were down there in the sewers eating pizza and learning their karate moves. I didn't smell pizza. No, there was not pizza coming from that sewer. No. Um... You know, luckily around that same time, the It television film came out, and it uh, s that movie probably did more to scare kids off of the idea that the sores were like a friendly place where you could go and hang out with uh, Donatello and Raphael than any other thing ever. Um <laughs> And, you know, there was uh, also, uh, there was this movie that came out called The Wizard. Now, this is a bad film, but it is very well beloved by people my age who grew up with Nintendo. And uh, this is a very much kind of like a Rain Man for kids, where there's a young autistic kid who's like a video game savant. And he runs away with his older brother, played by Fred Savage from the Wonder Years, and uh, and uh, Jenny Lewis. It's a really good, you know, indie singer-songwriter these days. 
and they run to Universal Studios in California, in Hollywood, and uh, to to compete in the video game uh, world championship or something like that. And this film has them uh, riding their skateboards on the interstate. And uh, this definitely, even though this is not a good film, it was available to me and I got it. And uh, I had a skateboard and I, I was like, man, all I like, I want to go to Universal Studios Hollywood. All I have to do then is like take my skateboard and just go a few feet down the interstate and I'll be there. And uh, this definitely led to some uh, very long conversations between me, me and my parents. So. so, like, when I was a kid, what I'm trying to say is that uh, movies taught us to do some very dangerous things. Um, but now, and, and I don't know if it's that same way for people my age or if everybody's like this you know because movies obviously one of the reasons why they're probably the most art powerful artistic medium that will ever exist um, is because they allow you to live so vicariously through uh, the people on the screen that you just lose yourself in them and you sometimes identify your own life with them and when I watch films like the Big Lebowski for instance I begin to kind of picture myself as like, I could leave, I could live this lifestyle. Like I don't need to have all the stuff that I have, you know, the big Lebowski in the film, he, the, the dude, he just, he lives on just what he needs to be happy. And, uh, I live on what I need to think that what I think I need to be happy and I could get rid of a lot of stuff and just be happy and, go and bowl and drink white Russians. I don't know. And I think that that would be a fantastic um, lifestyle. And then you think, wait a second, this is just the same thing as when I was a kid and I was watching the wizard and I was riding my skateboard on the interstate, you know, uh, movies teach us dangerous things. We have to be very, very careful sometimes. I mean, before you know it, you're in the grocery store and you're writing a check for milk. <laughs> 